Hi, I'm Maggie Jones from Cancer V Me, and today I'm going to show you how to take your blood glucose ketone index. So I use my little Keto Mojo device right here. You can use any blood meter, glucose meter combination. This one just has both combined in one, which I like a lot. You also need your glucose strips and your ketone test strips. Okay, so I'm gonna start by pricking my finger with the provided lancet just to get a little droplet of blood and then inserting the glucose strip into the monitor. It takes just a minute for the monitor to get charged and ready. But once you see the little blood droplet icon in the screen, it's time to touch the tip of the strip to your blood drop. And then you'll need about five minutes, five seconds rather, to get your results. Results will be saved in the Keto Mojo. Just insert a new strip to take your ketones and inserting will power on the monitor. Here again, we wait until we see the blood drop, letting us know it's ready to use, and then touch the tip of the ketone strip to the blood drop. 10 second countdown this time to get our results. Beautiful. You can now add these numbers to chronometer by going to the add biometric tab in the diary. I'm gonna start by first adding my blood glucose. That was 69. And you can choose either micromoles per liter, which is what is used in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, or milligrams per deciliter, which is the US standard. And then once again, we'll add biometric for our blood ketones which are almost always measured in micromoles per liter. I think this was 3.4. All right, once you see those entered into your diary, that means they're also now being tracked in the trends. So you can set up this little chart to monitor your glucose ketone index, which is the dark line, your ketones, and your glucose. Uh, you know, of course, our goal is to stay under one as ideal. Of course, anywhere in this green zone, under two is amazing. Under the yellow is still therapeutic ketosis. Super handy for tracking. If you have any questions about your GKI, I have a ton of information and resources on my site at cancerv.me. And feel free to reach out to me directly through that site. I hope this helped.